be game. Let me gang gang. I'm so fresh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And today we are gonna be kicking off something special for you guys. We're kicking off our holiday series. Of course, all plant-based. If you guys are anything like me, I know when I first started off um, vegan or eating a plant-based diet, I was super nervous around this time, Christmas, Thanksgiving, holidays, period. I was super nervous. I didn't know if I was gonna cheat on my diet. I didn't know what to make. I was just confused. So that's why we're here to help you guys out, give you guys some ideas, and show you some of our favorite holiday meals that we like to make. And also, you guys can leave a comment down below letting us know what you wanna see next. But today, we're gonna be kicking off our mashed potatoes and mushroom gravy, and also our candy yams. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you keep on watching for the recipe. All right, you guys, so I have my regular potatoes and my sweet potatoes on. I have them on a medium heat. And you're just gonna boil those, boil those Don't until high heat. you're just gonna boil those until they get nice and soft. And cutting your potatoes up um, helps them cook faster. So we're gonna boil those, let them get really soft, and then I'll be back to show you guys the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to making the mushroom gravy. I'm gonna start off with some grapeseed oil, and I'm gonna put about about a tablespoon or so to the pot. Maybe a little bit more. And I have my fire on medium heat. We're gonna add about a half of a, a red onion. We're also gonna add a tablespoon of garlic. All right guys, so next I'm gonna use some chickpea flour. It's a great alternative for people who are gluten intolerant because it is gluten free. I just like it. But you can use whatever flour you have. So we're gonna go ahead and cook the flour down. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. just to kind of loosen everything up. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetable stock. It is a home meal. You just gotta have booty on. And you're just gonna keep adding, cause it's gonna keep getting thick. A little bit more vegetable stock. All right, so now that everything's nice and thick, we're gonna go ahead and add our baby Bella mushrooms. And the longer you cook it, the more it's gonna thicken up. So if it's getting too thick for you, just go ahead and add more vegetable stock or broth. And if it gets too thin, you can add more flour. So we're just gonna keep on cooking this till the mushrooms are nice and tender. But while it's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasoning. So first I'm gonna be using some garlic powder going to use about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next, I'm going to be using a little bit of some smoked paprika. And one of my favorites, mushroom seasoning, just to bring all the flavors out. Go ahead. 
ahead and mix everything together. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to put mushrooms in your gravy. I just love mushrooms. Nice and thick, but the mushrooms are still cooking, so I'm going to add some more uh, vegetable broth. So we can give the mushrooms time to cook down. You guys, it smells amazing in here. I mean, it smells like it's already Thanksgiving. Don't you guys notice that when you like cooking onions and garlic or when someone's cooking onions and garlic, you're like, what are you cooking? You come downstairs, it's just onions and garlic. It makes the house smell so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and taste it and see if I need some more seasoning. So now we're gonna add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Next, we're gonna add some black pepper. We're gonna put a few drops of Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm gonna taste it one more time. Okay, so I started off with about a cup of vegetable stock. I'm down to my last little bit. I'm gonna pour in some more. And just keep mixing it. It's nice and creamy, nice and thick. You just get it to the consistency that you want it. If you like a more thicker gravy, just let it cook longer. If you like it a little bit thin, add more vegetable stock or broth. And um, and there you have it. This is pretty much it. It's pretty much done. I'm probably going to let it sit for about five more minutes on low heat. And now I'm going to go ahead and mash my potatoes. And I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, guys. So now that our potatoes are all done, they're nice and mashed, nice and flaky looking. Um, while they're warm, you want to go ahead and add your butter and your milk and now it's very important that you have your milk and butter warm and not cold because it's going to make your mashed potatoes like very placky and not tasty so make sure your milk and your butter is warm so i have about a cup of milk and about a half a stick of butter so i'm going to just add it as i go to how much i need so i start off with half of it As you can see, it soaked that up right away. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more. And you can mash your, you can um, mash out your avocados. You can mash your potatoes any way you like. We like ours a little chunky and like chunky mashed potatoes, but when we want them smooth, sometimes I use a blender. Not a blender, sometimes I use like a cake blender a handheld cake blender and it like it gets them really creamy so i use the rest of the milk and now it's a nice consistency how i like it so now we're going to go ahead and season it so i'm going to add some salt some black pepper And this is all to your liking, how much you like or how little you like. And now I'm gonna add some garlic powder. So now we're gonna go ahead and mix everything together. Start off little and then taste it and see how much you need. Because remember, you're gonna put the gravy on top and that already has salt in it, so you don't want it to be overpowering. Alright guys, so now we're on to the sweet potatoes. We are uh, making our candy yams. So I'm just going to mash mine. I was going to have them um, in a certain shape, but I'm going to mash them. We like them either way. Sometimes we mash them, sometimes we have them in little, little shapes. So whatever you prefer, go ahead and do that. Alright you guys, so now we're going to season it. 
we're gonna be taking our nutmeg and I'm gonna be adding probably about a teaspoon of nutmeg remember season it to your own liking now I'm gonna be taking some allspice I'm gonna be using about half a teaspoon I'm gonna be taking some brown sugar I'm gonna be using probably about a half a cup of brown sugar a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor and now we're gonna go ahead and add our melted butter and I'm using about a stick of butter I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together oops almost forgot my cinnamon y'all not forget cinnamon gonna add about a teaspoon of cinnamon and mix everything together y'all this mixture smells so good it smells like a pie this is the only way I can get Alana to eat sweet potatoes all right guys so now all the seasonings are in we're gonna go ahead and taste it mm, you guys it's really really good y'all can season it how you like it if you want it a little more sweeter add more sugar a little less sweet add less sugar and then build on that but now we're gonna go ahead and transfer it to our baking pan all right so now we're gonna go ahead and add it to our baking pan y'all this mixture is so good by itself if you don't want to add marshmallows you actually don't have to but I recommend you add marshmallows it just okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my vegan marshmallows the brand is Dandies and these are vegan they have mini ones and they have the big the regular size so we're gonna go ahead and just put them on top. All right guys, so this is it. Make sure your oven is preheated at 350. We're gonna go ahead and pop it in there for about, about 10 minutes. Make sure you check on it. We're just trying to get the marshmallows nice and gooey. So we'll check in when we're done. All right, you guys, this is the final result. This is how it looks. So delicious. I cannot wait to dig into this. If y'all are ready for the holidays, definitely leave a comment down below. And if you make this recipes or any of our recipes, let us know. All right, you guys, so that's it. Pretty simple, nice and easy. This is just to give you guys an idea for the holidays. You can add or take away whatever you want um, with the recipes. If you guys have any recipes you want us to try out or make for you guys during this season, definitely leave it down below and we will definitely consider them for our next videos. All right, y'all, talk to you later. Peace.